monster truck. And if you heard its mighty roar, then you'd be sure to head for the door. It's been forged to be large, sometimes even turbocharged. It's a mighty mega monster truck. Build them any way you like. This one steals like a bike, but it's a mighty mega monster truck. And if you're lucky one day to be near where the monster appears, then hold your ears. Here it comes. <laughs> hey, Henry, what you doing? Hi, Mark. I'm playing my monster mashing truck game. Oh, yeah, tell me again. What's a truck monster and was it mashing? Or is it like that scary movie, The Tomatoes That Squash Cleveland? It's not a truck monster, Mark. It's a monster truck. The biggest, meanest, most awesome mechanical creature built by man. Just kidding, Hillary. I know all about monster trucks. I've read all about them. Seen them in magazines and on television. I've even raced them here on my computer. But I've never, ever been able to get close to a real one. My only wish is that someday, I'd be able to meet one of those four-wheeled monsters face to face. Well, if you really want to, you can. Leave it to me and I'll put you alongside, on top, in front, and inside some of the biggest, meanest monster trucks on four wheels. Oh, hi, Mark. Hi, Hillary. I'm Hard Hat Harry, the magical monster truck drive-in genie dude. And here I am, sitting in the belly of the beast, making magic in the mud, throwing dirt, doing the monster mash. What do you mean you're hard hat hairy racing genie dude? There's no such thing as genies. If I'm not a genie, can I do this? Whoa, what happened? Where are we? I don't know what happened, but I can tell you where we are. We're standing on the wheels of one mean, big monster truck. Well, you said you wanted to meet face to face with a real four-wheeled monster, and here you are. Now, do you believe I'm a genie? I'm a believer, Harry. And I believe in you, too. But I believe in you even more if you could get it down from here. Well, what goes up must come down. Whoa. Did you build this? Oh, I didn't. He did right over there. Do you want to go check it out? Do we? Follow us. Hey, wait for me. Oh. Totally awesome. Whoa. It's so huge. Red. Oh. That's so cool. Oh, let's go over here. Whoa, look at all that. This is oh, so wow. big! Whoa! Whoa! Hi, Harry. Who are your friends? Oh, well, these are my friends, Hillary and Mark, and they've come to meet the Monster Maker. That's me, Frank the Monster Maker. Do you really build monster trucks? Only the biggest, the best, and the fastest around. This one, for instance, is called the Big Dummy 4 Monster Truck. It's named after the Crash Dummies. It's 10,200 pounds, 2,000 horsepower. Doesn't look like much of a monster truck to me. It looks more like a skeleton. Well, if you think it looks like a skeleton now, watch this. And this is what it looks like without the body. Well, why don't we go into the shop and take a closer look? Whoa! We're in the shop. Oh, neat. One, two, three, four. Wow. How many turbochargers wow. does this engine have? Eight, to be exact. Eight turbochargers? Why so many? Well, it's a V8 engine, and it's propane-powered. It's environmentally safer. Has a lot of horsepower, run great. That's a great engine, all right, Frank. And no offense, but this doesn't look like any monster truck I've ever seen. Hey, don't let those tires fool you. You see, Frank puts on these smaller tires to make it easier to move the truck around in the shop while he's working on it. You mean Frank has some really big tires that go on this monster truck? Some of the biggest! Whoa! And you're gonna make them magically appear right now? Mm, no. Oh, Harry, why not? Because I don't have to. They're right over here. Whoa! Whoa! They're huge! You mean they're monstrous? Yeah, right. Monstrous. I'll admit, Harry, once these monster tires are on that truck, it'll be mean looking. But to me, I don't know. It still looks like a big 
big, mean-looking go-kart. Well, that's because it's not a monster without its body. What? Well, a monster truck can't be a monster until it has its body. And its body is called its shell, which fits over the frame. And the body's right over there. Come on. OK, you guys. After I get done tuning the truck and setting up the suspension, I pick these fiberglass body panels up and I bolt them back onto the monster truck, which brings it right back to life. Yes! Check this out, you guys. Frank's designed the monster truck with steering like your bicycle. Whoa! Whoa, Frank! It does look a lot like my bike's handlebars, but it doesn't look anything like my bike. Oh, yeah, Frank, and where is your seat? Well, actually, the driver is suspended in an 18-point harness. Why a harness and not a seat? Well, the harness is sort of new. It's a way to hold the driver a lot safer, a lot more stable, and it takes the load off the driver's body. You know, monster trucks tend to flip over all the time. Have you ever flipped the truck? Yeah, a couple times. It's a lot of fun. But you always wear a helmet, right? I always wear a helmet and fire suit and other safety equipment. Why did you build the steering wheel to look like handlebars, Frank? Well, I raced motocross for eight years, so I feel a lot better with handlebars in my hands, and they're also more accurate. You can tell where your wheels are without actually looking at the wheels. That's not the only steering. Switch you're holding in your hand, that steers the rear wheels. Whoa! Whoa! And if we all hop on down, I'll show you guys how it works. Let's go! Okay, you guys, this is what I was telling you about. This little switch activates a hydraulic pump that's electronically powered. These two hydraulic lines supply hydraulic fluid to this ram down here, which makes it turn left and right. Push those big tires that we'll be installing, like this. Whoa. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And the really unique thing about monster trucks is that the steering enables the wheels to turn all at the same time. Or you can turn the front wheels one way while the back wheels are going the other way, or vice versa, which allows for the monster truck to make sharp turns in really small spaces. Right, exactly. You've got it. So with hydraulic steering, it's just as easy to steer the big tires as it is small tires. You got it. How big are these tires, Gary? Well, these tires are 66 inches tall and 43 inches wide. And each individual tire can cost up to $3,500. Those are big tires. And expensive. Well, there are even tires that are bigger and more expensive. There's one monster truck that has tires that are 10 feet tall. Really? 10 feet? 10 feet? That's about as high as a basketball hoop. With tires that size and a 2,000 horsepower engine with eight turbochargers, you shouldn't call these monster trucks, you should call them super trucks. No? No. No! Tell them, Frank. There's a big difference between monster trucks and super trucks. The monster trucks, well, the super trucks, I think it'd just be a lot easier to show them, Harry. Hmm, maybe you're right. Well, which do you want to see? Super trucks or monster trucks? Monster trucks. OK. Oh, boy. Ooh, check out that landing. It's a good thing he had on those huge tires. As you can see, monster trucks are built to be powerful and mean. Unlike super trucks, which are built like NASCARs, regular trucks are souped up to go fast. And they can only go fast on paved tracks. But monster trucks like this one here, oh, they're able to go almost anywhere. Like rolling over those demolished cars like this guy is going to do right now. Boom. And they're equipped with strong suspensions and extra large tires so they can rip through dirt and mud and jump over or smash cars. Now check out these spinning wheels. That was really rad, guys. Hiller's right. I learned a lot today. But I know a way you can learn even more about monster trucks. How? By taking a ride in a big, mean, powerful, gear-grinding, dirt-pounding monster truck. A truck like yours, Harry. Oh, that's a great idea.
idea. Can we, Harry? Can yeah. we? Please, you mean, Harry. You mean you want me to take you up there in one of those for a little drive? Please, Harry. Please. Can we? Well, uh, well, you convinced me. Yes! Uh, but... Uh, but what? But first, I'll have to make you into two honest-to-goodness, true-to-the-bone, mud-throwing, monster-mashing, truck-riding champions. How do we do that, Harry? Hmm... I got it. That did it. You guys look really good now. Cool. Are you ready? Ready. Okay, say goodbye to Frank. Bye, Frank. Thanks for the tour, Frank. See you later. Okay, see you later. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Harry, if your driving it is, is as good as your magic, we're in for a great ride. You betcha. Ah, it's time to wake up some horses. What's scary but fun in ways more than one ton? It's a body mega monster truck! Not like them other trucks you've seen, it's monster mashing me. It's a body mega monster truck! Did you know the way Harry rode the monster? Yeah, I saw him. It's pretty good stunt driving. Uh, but monster truck racing is really where it's at. Racing? That's a great idea, Frank. Yeah, Frank. How about a race between you and Harry? A race? Yeah, Frank, I think it's a good idea. How about a race, you and I? It would be fun. Well, the thing sounds like fun, but I got a lot of work to do. Um, what do you have to do, Frank? Maybe we can help. Well, thanks a lot, Mark, but I have to weld a new frame mount on, and we still have to put the body on, adjust the suspension. It's a little bit too much for you kids to do. Yeah, but uh, maybe not for a genie. Hey, that's a great idea. You know, with your help, I could get it all done. Would you mind? My pleasure. Ta-da! Wow! That's great. Thanks a lot, Harry. Mm -hmm. Now that your work is done, how about that race? Well, I guess so, but, you know, we're going to need a racetrack built specially for monster trucks. Gotcha! Uh, how about something like this? Oh! Whoa! Oh, sorry, Frank. <laughs> Will this do? Is this everything you need, Frank? Not quite. There's one thing missing. What? Look around. You tell me. The monsters! Harry, you forgot the truck! Okay, minor detail. Not here, in the pit area. Oh, okay. Oh, wait a minute, Frank. Before you take a look, uh, I wanted to make it up to you for bringing you in upside down. So I did something very special to your truck. Oh, no. I'm afraid to look. Ta-da! Hey, Harry, oh. nice paint job. Look at that paint job. Woo! Cool. Look at that. Oh, uh, but Harry, I think you forgot a step or two. No problem. Watch the monster maker at work. Well, if you guys want to race, we got to get out of the way so Frank can put on the tires. Let's go. Okay. Oh, 
Boy, those tires are heavy. The first thing Frank does is position these monstrous tires so they're ready to be put on as he removes each smaller tire. Check out how much bigger they are than the smaller tires he already has on the truck. Now, as you see here, he's going to roll all four into place. Next, he unloads his super hydraulic jack, rolls it over, and positions it under the truck so he can jack it up. Oh, it has to be a pretty strong jack in order to lift up a truck this heavy. Oh. What are those for? That's for safety, because the jack itself isn't stable enough. Oh! After he's jacked up the truck, he removes the lug nuts with a high-powered impact wrench and removes the tire. Now it's time to mount the monster tire. Hey, that looks like a ladder over there. That's a roller ramp, and it's used to push the tire onto the axle because you can't lift a thousand pound tire by yourself unless you're a Jeep. Once the tire is in place, he replaces the lug nuts and tightens them down with his impact wrench. Oh, it's a big job, but Frank's our man to do it. Gee, Harry, I really could use your help again. Oh, okay. Gee, Harry, thanks again. You really saved me a lot of time. Well, that just about does it. Now we're ready for some monster truck racing. Not so fast, Harry. There's just one more thing. What? Your monster truck. Oh, right. Now we're ready. Harry, you may be dressed for some monster trucking, but definitely not for some monster racing. Um, you're right. Uh, Frank, you first. This isn't mine, Harry. Oh. <laughs> You're kidding, right? <laughs> now you talking, Harry. Well, uh, oh. Look great, Harry. Ready for some racing? Oh, not yet. There's one more thing. Do you guys want to help? You bet.
view better from inside. Harry! Harry, it's the finish line! Give it all you've got! <laughs> oh. Harry! Why did you stop the action? Yeah, Harry. How are we gonna find out who wins the race? Well, we're not, but you are. Huh? Well, you are. You're going to finish the race for us. It's time to get you guys back home, and you're going to get back onto the computer and finish the race for us. All right. I'll be Frank. And I'll be Harry. OK, get ready. On your mark. Wait, wait, Harry. We haven't thanked you yet for our adventure. Yeah, thanks for making my wish come true. I had a great time. And thank Frank, the Monster Maker, too. OK, I will. Enjoy your race. On your mark. Get set. Go. <laughs> Hey, we're back. Hey, where's my joystick? Oh, I almost forgot. Three, two, one, go. And we're off. What looks scary but fun and weighs more than one ton? It's a mighty mega monster truck. Not like them other trucks you've seen. It's monster mashingly mean, but it's a mighty mega monster truck. And if you heard its mighty roar, then you'd be sure to head for the door. It's been forged to be large, sometimes even turbocharged. It's a mighty mega monster truck. Build them any way you like. This one steals like a bike, but it's a mighty mega monster truck. <laughs> and if you're lucky one day to be near where the monster appears, then hold your 